Okay, there we go. The game was being unresponsive again. And <clears throat> all right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. PSM First Mate Rick here at your service. And welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 5, Rise of the Pirate God, uh, on a Monday this time, because, yeah, I, I've complained multiple times now already that my uh, last week's work schedule was kind of fucked. So, yeah, yeah, let's just load in and see what sort of shenanigans we're going to get into now, because, yeah, Guybrush is dead, <laughs> and LeChuck has basically conquered the world. Yep, and also, welcome to Monkey Monday! <laughs> yeah. Now then, what can we actually do? Okay, this he's just going to get squirted back, I'm... Load. Oh, toast. Okay, LeChuck, you caught me off guard once by making Elaine spray me with root beer. Are you ready this time? Ready for what, sweetums? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that's going to keep happening when <laughs> we go back in there. So, we'll have to find some way to get around a lane. Uh, let's see, we have some money, we have a tip jar, we have that photo, we have let Chuck sock. And our shred of light, you know, light life, but so how can we actually progress it. here? It's stuck in there. Hmm. Is there anything new with the other characters, perhaps? It's I don't see what we can do at the moment, so we'll just have to go around and explore a bit. I... Uh, crab? What? Oh, what, the... what have you done? Ah, talking crabs! Why did you open the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, the chuck is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Worried about rug quality? Perhaps you should consider upgrading to something with a knot density of 160 <laughs> per square inch. But that's not really the issue here. Why didn't you <laughs> warn me that Chuck had nefarious plans for Las Fonja Grande? I'm afraid that Chuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. How the hell? <laughs> There's got to be quite some interference uh, trying to contact someone by crab phone. <laughs> <laughs> yourself. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body, so they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. The voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaplu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Nix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, <laughs> cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have Wait, what? Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was imprisoned back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh, well, I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Okay, so we're going to have to continue well, on that plan. Yeah, I, I, yeah, this is... Now we have proper proof that we're probably going to have one more stream of this. Yeah. From the sounds of it. 
and basically we're going to have to glue Guybrush's soul back into his possibly rotting corpse with some gum. Uh, uh, Let's see, where will this bring us? I'm guessing there's going to be a tear at every place, or a rip as they call it. Whoa. This whole jumping between realms thing is going to take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yep, that's me. <laughs> this is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? That's exactly the way I remember you. Yep. <laughs> They're dealing quite well with the fact that there's a ghost walking around. And really, they had the balls, they had the goal. To, <laughs> his aim hasn't improved any. They had the goal to mummify Guybrush's body and use it as a dartboard holder. Wait, wait, hold on. Yep, it bounces from his nose. <laughs> How? Bullseye hasn't seen any action in quite some time. A testament to Judge Grindstump's assassin-like focus. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. No, he's bouncing it off his forehead. Yeah, I know that he has one dot stuck on your party hat, it seems. Yeah. Yep, that's my body, all right. What is it doing here? This is your wake! We were going to erect a statue in your honor after the pox was cured, but that caused LeChuck to return to pillaging and plundering, and people were calling to burn your body in effigy instead. In the end, we settled somewhere in the middle and decided you'd become our new dartboard. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what the hell? Well, at least someone thought to get a nice reach for my wake. What, that? Ah, it was brought in as kindling when we decided to burn your body. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we'll chuck off Nipperkin as well. Uh. Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty. Aww. Okay, what are you Yo, doing here, bug guy? What do you want, Pipsqueak? <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost! Aren't you guys scared of me? Well, you weren't very threatening while you were alive, and I'm afraid the new pirate ghost thing isn't helping. Plus, they knew oh. Chuck <laughs> was a ghost, and Chuck was a lot worse. Also, yeah, how... he yeah. had to. Oops. Sorry. Go on. Uh, it was a it, compared to Guybrush. Guy, Chuck had a quite a horrifying reputation to begin with. Yeah, give me a second. This thing seems to be hmm? off again. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit better. Uh, yeah, how did you get out of the manatee? So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. <laughs> you oh. got shout out. You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. Okay, and how are you, Judge? Uh, Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe! Don't rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> I bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and pox voodoo poison coursing through <laughs> our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> but with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old Crimp Digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. <laughs> the Chuck and Pox, really, the Chicken Pox. <laughs> Please stop throwing darts at me. What do you care? You're dead! But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry! <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. <laughs> at least he admits it. <laughs> So, ever seen a ghost before? Have I ever? I'm a judge, laddie! My every waking hour is haunted by the harrowing curses of the despicable reprobates I've sent to the gallows! To be frank, your cheery spirit is something of a welcome respite. Yeah, I'm much more of an existential crisis ghost than a mind-numbing horror spirit. 
All that wailing really does a number on your throat. <laughs> okay, I guess that in part explains why he's such a grumpy judge. <laughs> why? Yeah, because why he's constantly being haunted by ghosts. Uh, I meant, I meant about the, the next uh, line there. Why let shock commit an undefined act of evil? <laughs> because he can. Committing undefined acts of evil on the citizens of Flotsam. He thinks we're hiding that voodoo lady, Chippy, and he won't take no out stop stabbing me for an answer. <laughs> what the heck is a Chippy? Uh, I, I think it's just slang for woman or something, hopefully. So, are you hiding the voodoo lady? Absolutely not! That witch is nothing but trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with V, and that stands for voodoo. Hmm. I can't tell if that was supposed to be a hint or not. Also, maybe I'm, I'm just curious what happens here. Give me a drink, grind stump. I am afraid your bar privileges expired when you did, <laughs> Creepwood. In your next life, try to settle your debts before you get killed, hmm? <laughs> okay, he's, <laughs> he's got a point. We do have a tab. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Oh, uh, back to this again. What? Oh, come on, the game crashed. What? Really? It's the face I, I, so bad it crashed the game? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> uh, uh, let's hope that doesn't start happening a lot again. Hmm. Actually, let me just preemptively look up uh, Tales of, of Monkey Island Chapter 5 glitches. Uh... Just in case there are any we should be aware of. Uh, game breaking glitch. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Enter the rip that leads to the jungle. No one interacts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, go to the game's folder. Pack. Remove the file. Flotsam jungle night clearing. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for if we. Well, if that glitch does happen. Um, oh, yes, should catch. There we go. Uh, there we go. It takes a second each time. Um, okay, let's let's look for one one of the other areas because I'm guessing that each one now has a rip, except for maybe the gateway. Let's have it look here all the same. Caleb, what are you doing over here? Standing mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroad should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life, and all these rips will seal up good as new putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and Lechok is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life, not for me. For eternity. Okay. Uh. Well, at least we know one, ha, how to close the rifts. So once we have, to, once we have glued Guybrush's soul back to his body, uh, hmm, would that? Well, it should at least be able to seal everything off. We'll just have to hope that the glue holds. Yeah. Hmm. And this not think he was the lie at all. It was sounded way too serious. Yeah. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! Okay, he doesn't even care about that there's a rip to, re <laughs> to the living world right here. Uh, let me put down a quick save, just to not have to run around again in case it does crash, because we don't know which area is actually behind here. Judging from the colors, it... Okay, it is the jungle, and there we go, crash. Okay, let's go look around then in the files. Common, no, that's 
that's the Steam files. I need games. Yep, that's GOG. Then Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 5, Pack, Flotsam Night Clearing. Okay. You would think those on GOG would try to fix that, at least. Yeah. Just cutting that out and pasting it on the desktop, just in case it does it breaks anything else. I'm guessing what this is supposed to do is that it forces the game to make a new file of it real quick or something. Okay, here we go. This time I'm keeping GOG open as well, so I can a lot can open and you know, the game again a lot faster. But yeah, they really yep. should have fixed this. Yeah, either the original makers or at least GOG. I I don't know exactly what GOG does, but besides selling old games. Well, that is most what they do. <laughs> hmm. Oh shoot! It's too dark to actually see what's in here. So much for ghost powers. <laughs> so basically, Guyver's doing what everyone in VR does whenever they run across a box. <laughs> <laughs> I've pulled that a few times. Yeah. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Okay. Wait. And a, a dead seagull. Oh. Okay. I don't even have the bodily strength to lift a feather. <laughs> True. Um, and that's about it here. Okay. Uh, nope. uh, I usually have something here. So for, people seem to dislike this game, and I sort of wonder: is it due to the crashes? Yeah, that's a good chance of it. For the first episodes were very stable, but all the three episodes. Is when we started to notice the crashes. Welcome back, friend. Here again. Okay, is there a rip here? Yeah, I I think that my, we originally thought there's actually no rip here unless he stole it somehow, which I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Yeah, I would not be surprised either. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Okay, that means we're going back here. Hmm. <clears throat> And we'll just have to see if we can skip through this. Also, I noticed during the fight, uh, during the... Full when the... What yeah. Why did I that? Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo, Puppet, Mistressy person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had an affair? I'm afraid LeChuck... Well, yes. The Voodoo... <laughs> I noticed what <laughs> <We're... laughs> you made his face melting halitosis. Why, really? Face melting halitosis? You must figure that out for you to a body. <laughs> One spirit girl. The curious that she doesn't specifically answer to that uh, line. Like if the there is some other hidden secret weapon that he has or something. Either way, let's head back here. Right. Say, never mind. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Oh, yeah. And He's skipping through this. Yeah, then save just in case. Yep. We'll probably have to remove a file to work here as well. Let's see. Did, did, uh, anything new on this? Okay, no, nothing new on that summary. Now, is there anything else we can do around here? I know we know now that we can scare the judge, but why is there a blindfold there? But you scared him so hard you broke the game. <laughs> yeah, can we actually leave without getting? Oh, I can't make the doorknob turn. Stupid ghostly limitations. <laughs> Guy brush, you could just walk through the door. Yeah, yes, I was about to say that. Just walk through it. Okay. Um, let me have a quick look. Is there a word of another, another glitch here or something? Uh, 
Yeah, so far, most of the glitch seems to be cutscene related. Yeah, Verifying game file caches. Can't do that on this. Anything in here? Um, Okay, not not seeing anything on a glancing look online. Hi there. No rubbing it. <laughs> Ooh. Did we did we accidentally get uh, something correct here? Or, no. Okay, yeah, they just crashes immediately again. Uh, let's see, which of these could be the one that is dealing with that? Uh, oh, no, that's the finale, it's Blades like. Plotsam, Knight, no. I hope we get to be able to fix this for always. Like, hmm. honestly, it'd be a pity if this is to be another Monkey Island game we have to abandon due to game glitches. Yeah, this time we're <laughs> a lot further in, actually. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'm just pulling random files now and seeing if the, that would be the one to call uh, to cause it. Maybe don't pull random files. Yeah, it's it would have help prevent the previous uh, <clears throat> the, the the crashes in the previous chapter, so it should work here as well. I, I'm guess I'm guessing there's just a conflict in the files somewhere that uh, causes it to just. <laughs> completely fart out and die on itself. Okay, did we get the yeah. correct one? Again, you feel like uh, Telltale Games or Gyu Gi, if that's something Gyu Gi does, fixing game up uh, to be playable. Wrong file. Uh, let's see. I hope I don't have to pull out each and every one of these just to get it to work. Actually, maybe if I just narrow this search down a bit. Uh, chapter 5, bar. Uh, uh, oh, that's entirely back to chapter 1. Uh, let's see, that is chapter 4, Thieves Den, okay, sword finding, find body, go to the top, club 41, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. look at monkey, okay, mm -hmm. Okay, apparently we have to... Apparently there is another rip that we missed at the entrance, apparently. Okay, so hmm. we are accidentally sequence breaking it? Uh, no, it's just that the game... It is still a, a glitch that it crashes when we do that to him, but... Uh, yeah. Barrels that we can look at. My body is perfectly positioned for another root beer shower. Great. <laughs> All right, and then there is oh, there they are. This is one of the uh, that's Jack. Hey, it's Jacques the monkey. Hey, little guy. Huh. I wonder why his eyes are all funky again. Okay, he's he's also hypnotized. Um, we can't go out, so let's well take the other door. I don't oh, think they would count as a door. I just realized, I don't know if they've been com forgotten the comedy, but Lashak took a spoke a lot about that they were busy returning the monkeys to the natural habitat. I feel yeah, like he, he also Ooh, said he yeah, he hypnotized him again. So it could yeah. have been more that he was just planting him around for some big spell. Yeah, I feel like that that's, uh, probably was uh, the case. It was just, just tricking us. Yeah. Okay, I thought we couldn't get here anymore. It's the... I, oh, well. Let's see, what's behind rip number four? Oh, this is number three. Another monkey. And hello, Winslow. Captain Threepwood? Captain on deck! <laughs> Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. 
Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. <laughs> this is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty Lechuk fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship, and then he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... Oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did he make you kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? Winslow. Uh, oh, hello. Come we're, at on. The, we're at the manatee man, uh, mating ground. Hello, little monkey. I wouldn't, sir. He's still a bit frustrated that we can't agree on the props we need for our new game. Rock, paper, and I say fountain pin. He disagrees and gets rather bitey about it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Rock, what? paper, fountain pen. Uh, what? Uh, What's this stuff? What the? Those are the pieces I need to play a game I'm inventing called Rock, Paper, Fountain Pen. <laughs> That's not how the game is supposed to go, Winslow. Um, hmm. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. What are you doing out here? Sailing, sir. Sailing? Well, rafting at least. Why is there a monkey on your raft? Actually, the raft belongs to the monkey, sir. LeChuck tried to convince your wife that right here was this creature's natural habitat. Between you and me, sir, I dare say that LeChuck wasn't trying to help these poor monkeys at all. Okay, so basically confirming, yeah, he was just planting them around. What happened to the narwhal? After LeChuck knocked me off, he simply set it adrift at sea. Okay. That's all for now, Mr. Well, Winslow. Very good, sir. Did he try to lure Elaine that he was a sea monkey? Yeah, uh, probably. And it, is it just the, the carving or did the ocean turn to blood? Um, I didn't actually expect him to jump. I think that's what's left of Dekaba's ship. The voodoo lady's locket. It's stuck up there in that seaweed. But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Up we go. I'm surprised you... Oh, wait. Can I brush? I... I didn't mean for you to go back up. I meant for you to look at the dumb thing. And... Okay, Winslow's just grown numb to it now. <laughs> Dear. Still surprised that he can swim at the moment like this. Looks like Dakava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Dakava was so lucky. If, well, probably not. A fishnet. Sometimes on my birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. Uh, <laughs> this being the real world, I still can't touch anything. So this fishnet has to stay here. Okay, skipping on from that. Um, manatee bones. To think, my bout of Cyrano styled romance has brought peace to these murky depths. Uh, yep, um, this was the home of La Esponja Grande. Okay, nothing specific on that. Now, what? We can't do anything yet with Listen, this. My ocean isn't enough to jostle this seaweed. <laughs> Wait, Please. Hold on. Hmm? Manatee. Uh, did I shock you, the manatee? Yeah, those bones were here before, I think. Uh, those are new, I think, though. Clam. Huh. <laughs> okay, he just clammed up. I always felt like selling seashells by the seashore was a folly. That's bad. Far away from where I can find them for free. Good point. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to do something with that thing Hello? giving bubbles. I'll zap you with this eel. Anemone? Guy brush? Okay, well, we know where the fish folk went. Are you okay? No, Spinner K has been destroyed. What are you doing in there? What you should be doing, hiding from him. Oh man, what did he do to you? Nothing yet, thank Poseidon. Look, I know Winslow can be a bit forward if 
Not a bit body, but he's got a good heart. No, not sweet Reggie. I mean the Chuck. Oh, I see. He destroyed Spinner K. The sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse. Oh, that's not good. Look, come out and let's talk about this. No, I'm too frightened. I need your help out here. For what? Well, unfortunately, I'm currently a ghost, so I can't touch anything. A ghost? How? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Killed by him! I'll stay in here, thank you, where it's safe. Okay, well... I'll be back later. Be careful! Well, at least we know they're, uh, they're safe for now. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay, fun fact. They are giant clams almost that, almost that big. Hmm. And for a while, they were thought to be going to be extinct due to... Yeah, people hunted them a lot due to how easy it was. And their shells were very popular as... Uh, washing bowls and baby bars and all that. Okay. I think they were only in the 80s or something, they realized that they are not extinct, but they are in danger, so there's strictly of not hunting them. Yeah, I think I think I see what we need to do here. We need to get that seaweed to uh, move over so that when the next time we open, we cast a clam to clam up, uh, the, the air bubble will uh, send it upwards. Hmm. Question is, uh -huh. how do we do that? Yes. Yeah, we need to. We need the spirit gum. Yep. Oh, okay. So that happens when you get too close to the edge. Hmm. Yeah. First and foremost, we re we need to get someone to open the door of Club Forty One. Uh, yeah. Had I actually talked? Uh, had I actually talked of the reason why it's called Club Forty One on stream yet? I I know I've said I've told some people. Uh, yeah. You, I think you. I think you told me, but... Not on stream. Yeah, you told me off stream or on stream. No, off stream, I believe. Uh, so, if just in case I did forget... Uh, I did, haven't told it on stream yet. The reason it's called Club 41 is because, well... Th the episodes of this game were released on the Wii as well. Or rather, the WiiWare... Uh, on the WiiWare... Uh, on the Wii Shop. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm back. I be trying to concentrate here. Uh, but yeah, because they were also being released on the Wii like that, they had a maximum uh, file. They have a maximum file size of forty uh, megabytes. Um, but in the first episode, they also wanted to in actually include an actual scene of the bar fight that would occur due to well, <laughs> Guybrush's poxed hand. Uh, but well. If they did that, they would push over the 40 megabyte size, which is, uh, well, they cut it, and, well, <laughs> that's why they called it the Club 41, because the fight would have been the 40, 41st megabyte of <laughs> game file size. Oh. Kind of sad, and, oh, wait, 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 save again, just in case. Yeah, just so we don't have to go through the, some of the chatter again. And hmm. okay, let me look up the walkthrough a bit to see. I think we have to. Ch I we probably have to scare the judge out to get the door opened. Uh, Maybe you tell us the right combination to scare him. Oh, oh no! It okay. Apparently, we do need to get the locket first. Uh, from what I'm skimming through here. Lock it? Yeah, since it, it has that spirit... I'm I'm guessing it has that spirit gum in it or something. Or is made out of it. So we need to get that first by... Yeah, talking to Winslow and uh, an enemy. I'm, I'm probably saying her name wrong myself, but oh well. Okay, back to here then. So yeah, we'll just have to ha do a bit more social manipulation to get this done, and 
Well, Guybrush is a bit of a veteran in that right nowadays. That sounds horrible. Okay. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Already saying her name wrong again. Anepalmy is hiding in a cave below your raft. What's this? My skill clad steady is but a few leagues beneath my heart. That's right. Ask Anemone to swim to me. Swim to me, my sweetheart. Well, the problem is right. that Chuck. Anemone's terrified and hiding out until all of this pirate apocalypse mongering blows over. How tragic. Wait, they were a couple? Apparently. <laughs> when did that happen, though? Yeah, the, the... Your uh, fishy friend is holed up in the Leviathan's old cave and refuses to leave it. Poor thing. Probably as frightened as a foul hooked haddock. Perhaps you could what? drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem, a haiku even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the sashimi <laughs> islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock. Paper, pen. How's it played? Well, paper beats rock. And then the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Well, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need to write my dear anemone a haiku. I see in stone lift. Withering spirits. That's actually a good line. Yeah, that's, that's his sweet. Very good, sir. And also, lewd. I did not expect that word to be mentioned yeah. in this game. Like, they have some hindi in the windows now, uh, occasionally, sure. Sometimes a lot, but. Outright saying lewd? Yeah, All right. in references. <laughs> Are you still in there, an en enemy? As long as Lachak is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. <laughs> Instantly out. Oh. Okay, there we go. Because, of course, she darts right back in. <laughs> back later be careful okay that wait oh now it's swaying okay and we just have to time it then and there we go <laughs> like an clam bubbles lock it saved <laughs> like an underwater parachute I say my beloved has sent me a sign. I must prepare myself for our reunion. Mizzens, I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship. <laughs> What's that? Deodorant, Captain. Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Winslow, the locket isn't a sign for Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, most important then. Most? Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? <laughs> what is it with you and maps? Lead you back to your body. The way our map has led us to adventure. Also, I'm pretty sure Woodtick was that first uh, town or first, well, First village in Monkey Island 2. Uh, yeah, I look. think so too. The locket transfers spirits to bodies based on which way that little arrow button is pointing. I can't press it though, but I bet Winslow wouldn't mind helping. Winslow's the Actually, old. luckily, my spiritual essence smells of lavender and honey. Better think about it. Hmm? Uh, Winslow is probably one of you guys that. Guys, Bros has not been a total jackass to, but sure, he was a bit of an arse when he were defeating him, sort of fair square to win the novel, but from there, they 
been very friendly. Yeah, it, it was basically a game of who could be the captain or not, and he hasn't tried to stab us in the back since. Probably because I yeah. get the feeling he probably doesn't really know how you know, to get around without a map or someone to read it to him. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, the only mm. time he got unfriendly to us was when he was affected by the pox, but yeah, that, that's the pox talking. And I think I know how we can actually get this done now by putting the spirit photo in that thing. But let's see Mr. what happens yes, if we activate it now. Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. She's probably going to... Nothing happened. I should have possessed the voodoo lady. I guess no one's home on the other end. Uh... Um, That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Wait, what? No, it did. It's the, it's the other way around, Guybrush. Okay. I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Voila! Okay, I'm guessing this counts because the, the photo isn't really physical or fully physical either. And we brought it in from the spirit world. So, let's not think too much on that. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that lock? Certainly, sir. There we go. Ooh, I don't remember my body being this cold. Hey! Ah, great jumping gibbets! It's alive! Do you only now notice? Alive? It's some kind of voodoo zombie! Quick, chop its head off! What? Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. <laughs> Bring it on, bug juice. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Yo, are you all right, sir? I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that would explain the girlish scream, sir. <laughs> Winslow. <laughs> Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. I know hmm. it's me snappy and teaseful, or actually just pure honest. I keep getting kicked out of my body. Perhaps you need a new perspective on the situation, sir. I always find it helps to leave for a while, then maybe come at the problem from a different point of view. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. I guess what he means by that is that we need to go to the club and somehow distract those two. Because I get the feeling they've probably propped the corpse back up again. <laughs> Which is surprisingly mobile for, well, who, <laughs> having been decomposing for who knows how long. Enough to for the skin to rot, at least. Hmm. We'll have to see how. Uh, yeah, let. <laughs> He propped it up with the stupid hat as well again. Okay, let's put down a save. Just in case the game crashes okay, again. Safe to save. Oh, safe to save. The lava is safe to save. Okay, it has been expanded now. Possession's only temporary, though, so we still need to get that Captain spirit gun. I... Don't rub it in. Hmm. Nothing new here. Yo, bug eye. What do you want? Never mind. Nothing new here. Okay, how are we? Does it have to do something with that? The root beer barrels, since the walkthrough had been a point. Since the walkthrough pointed those out. Hmm. Why is there a blindfold here? That's the blindfold I wore back when I had my first bar fight here. Although, technically, it was my pox-infested hand that did most of the fighting. Ah, good old Lefty. I hope he's happy, wherever he is. <laughs> yeah, that hey, thing is still see. running around as well. Lefty? Really? WP? Lefty? I've almost got my stroke back! He's having a stroke? 
<laughs> his throwing streak. Me. What do you care? You're dead. But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry. <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. Hmm. Uh. Talk to you later. Okay, we need to find I'm... some way to scare him or something, or mate. I think I know what's no, going to happen. Yeah. If we scare him, he throws his dart probably into the barrels, causing yeah, it to leak out over the, the body, but I don't know what that might do. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, also, can we... How innocent are lie. you, Hillian? Hmm? I gotta you, you don't know what Lefty is using reference to. Uh, in this case, I am drawing a blank on that, mostly because I'm trying to think of what the hell to do here. Hmm. It starts with an M, Helian. Um. <laughs> no, need no further word needed. Let's. Yeah, I, I, I leave it at that for for the sake of uh, not having the Twitch ban hammer upon us. Yeah, I was going to say monetization, but we don't get monetized at all, anyways. Uh, let's see. Manatee mating grounds. Talk to this guy. Guy was punk. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We don't need to do anything here. We just... Yeah, we just had to pick another yeah, voice. We just had to pick another dialogue line. And that's a bit of a dumb, uh, but it, but again, these games are supposed to keep you more busy uh, by making you go through most every option there is to finally get through something. It's just yeah. that, well, we're on a time limit, so we can't yeah. really do that. Yep, and sort of hope we don't need to scare them as a ghost for... If the option to scare them with a scary face is just optional fun, Probably. Then it, then it means we can skip it without crushing the game. Hopefully. Certainly, sir. Okay, here we go again. This is but a, a temporary possession. Back for another round, zombie boy. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you. You there? I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh, great. I'm in jail. Again. And Is we're in the what? wrong jail, even. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. What is it? Fancy painting in the other jail. Uh, you, you can take a bit of a guess, probably. Hey, somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. Wait, how, how did... Oh yeah, we're. It's a diary. <laughs> I was confused. Everyone. Well, I am in jail. Apparently, I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride him all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm. What else is in here? Dear diary, I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip out just as he slips the. Tongue. Oh, I think I've read enough. <laughs> okay, so he went out the the other end instead. Uh, I'm not sure if this would be was a more or less dignified way of escaping. Is that I'm gonna say more unusual. I and I accidentally I accidentally clicked on that. I thought I I clicked out of the book, and immediately onto this by accident. But, oh. Pin up. Oh, okay, yeah, that's My definitely the pin up. To feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Is that look? some kind of poster in there? I can't quite see it from here. It'd, it'd be pretty impossible to actually see that without sticking your head through the bars themselves. <laughs> hey, what happened? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. <laughs> sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. 
So what you're shit? saying is the effects of the locket are temporary. That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great. <laughs> what? What's this sudden barrage of innuendos and lewds? Hmm. What the heck? Yeah. Uh, let's try this again. Yes, Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. The heck? They usually are a bit more subtle about it, but they, if it is they're not bothering hiding it this time. And found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. But it looks like you're acting up again. Ready for another round, zombie boy? Uh, I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off you there! Huh? They really just <laughs> toss us in instantly, huh? Actually. We have to... Hmm... We could probably shame uh, Bug Eye in it, Because we can't actually do anything here, it seems. Like, not that I can see anyways. We need to end up in the other jail somehow. Um, we do have our hook again. But there is nothing to interact with here at the moment. Not even the door? Nope. Uh oh, I feel a deep possession coming on. Okay. Hmm. Uh oh, I'm losing possession of my body again. Funk. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. I think now is when we need to. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon. Hey. Now is what when we run? need to head back to the club <clears throat> as a ghost. <clears throat> Really? Really? Uh, I I had to burp off the you. <laughs> what the heck is going on? It's one thing after another. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> okay. It, maybe the parrot behind you is behind all this. Well, it has been staring at everything rather dead-eyed lately. Actually. What the heck is a parrot's name? I don't think we ever named it, but <laughs> nobody will need to. Get back here. We, came we to have to be in the future. <laughs> hmm. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, Pipsqueak? So I don't want to. I'm gonna go. Hmm. Perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... ...befriended a person who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around. Are you mocking me, boy? Yeah, yeah, one. Uh, oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> uh, that is not crash. I'm going to mark these out just so, uh, in case to avoid uh, this. And we probably should have saved, yeah. Uh, let's see. What he's doing there is. Is that. Yeah, it's stinky, so that one's out. Not fish eyed, not lazy eyed. Yeah, it's the squeaking one. I'm mostly just copying what he's doing at the moment, and then the mini face. Okay, so that one's out as well. So we're just going to take everything across from that. One, two, three, and go. Arr, does it look like I'm mocking you? Arr. Well, I guess not. You're just really ugly. <laughs> Wait, but, oh, I think we were supposed Yo, to mock. What do you want? We're supposed Seriously, to match him, I think. I said I look at me, I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on manatee. Are you mocking me? Yeah, we, we have to copy him. 
Okay, so that was nasty tweaking. Huh? I don't Arr, like the spinning eye part. Arr. Well, I guess not. Yeah. We got one wrong there. What? Yo, what do you want? Come on. I re hmm. Wait, you forgot to save. Uh, yeah, me, uh, let's boy? let's let's lose this one on purpose then just to save. It is, a, it is a bit funny that they bring that back all of a sudden. Well, we have it. It isn't all too sudden. We were, we could use it on the judge, but that would just crash the game. So I don't think yeah, that's actually yeah. there to be want? of use. What part of don't? Look at me. Are you mocking? Okay. Tweaking. Is that really not the meanie face there? Or is it? Let's see, not not that. I really think it's this one. Arr, does it look like I'm mocking you? I'm big bad bug eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. <laughs> Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Oof. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. And you don't slime up the place while I'm gone. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty clever. <laughs> of course, he's just going to screw around. I'll just Anyways. leave him there until he cools off. Oh. Which means that oh. now that the first cell is occupied... Oh, for a moment I thought the terror was gone. With the yeah, first cell oh. occupied, Guyvers will be put in the second one. Yeah, and I thought he came out from the rift, the judge. <laughs> it did look like that for a moment from the perspective. Yeah, and don't forget to say even. Yep. Uh, I, I, I feel like this is going to be one of those rare episodes we save a lot. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm, guess, I, I'm guessing behind the poster is what is in every freaking jail when there's a poster on the wall, especially a big one. This is going to be a hole in the wall for us to escape through. Uh, we just have to hope that the possession doesn't fail again whilst we're out because they'll probably find the body still anyways and put it back in the bar. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Yeah, also, let's try this one. I think your poem was a hit. Ah, it is an honor to think I may have brought a bit of peace to a frightened heart. Would you mind? Certainly. Okay, here we go again. Also, how does a locket spark? But then again, it's a voodoo locket. I'm back! Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself! Ghosts are one thing, but I really hate zombies! <laughs> uh, we're just probably going to get shot or something when we <laughs> so we just surrender. surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with you! Okay, if the possession fails again, we're just going to use one of the other lines. Hey guy, we're neighbors. Shut your cheese hole, zombie boy. You're the reason I'm in here, you know. All right, all right. I'll keep it down. <laughs> if we lose the possession again, we need to get in here yet again. We're going to use one of the other lines to see how the judge knocks us the hell out. <laughs> Free Guybrush Threepwood. Free Guybrush Threepwood. No new taxes. Down with porcelain. Hey, lay off the banging or I'm gonna shove that mug up your blowhole. Free Guybrush Threepwood. Free Guybrush Threepwood. Oh. This just isn't the same. Uh-oh. Guy... My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Of course, freaking Guybrush. Hey, look at that. A gaping round hole in the wall. The voodoo lady must have escaped through this. Convenient. Also, that's not round. <laughs> Ah, sweet lady freedom. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
Welcome back, sir. You know, every time I pass out in the jail, they haul my body back to the bar and redecorate it. You think I should go back as a ghost and check on my body? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what strange party favors they'll dress my body up in next. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Winslow. Certainly, sir. Okay, that's a pretty big hint. Hmm. Ooh. It is getting a bit annoying to have to run back and forth, though. But that's one of the things with uh, adventure games. At least we can actually yeah. run and not have to walk you know, slowly. Yeah, no. Honestly, the, the, how are you enjoying the game so far? Uh, I, I like the game. Yeah, I like the previous chapters, uh, glitches and such notwithstanding. But I, I just really like the interactions with Kybers and the others and the, just the story. Yep, there we go again. Oh, they put the mug on him this time. Okay. Yeah, I tried to figure out why people don't like this one or the last one. Like, the last one I can see due to uh, some poor game designs and nowadays, especially having some, well, even back then, some serious game break, uh, ah, game breaking bugs. But this one, yeah, not not saying anything with the story being wrong, really. I think a lot of it might have come from the people expecting or thinking that there would be some love triangle between uh, Guyvers, uh, Elaine, and uh, Morgan. And I think what? now is when we're supposed to scare the judge into <laughs> into fucking up his throw. Save. Who posed me like this? I look like a pirate panhandler. <laughs> Okay. Save. Yeah, save. Maybe it glitched earlier. Good Maybe it would captain. cause crashes earlier because we weren't supposed to, the mug wasn't there yet and it caused the game to, well, break. So it was a case of a more severe case of sequence breaking. Uh, not but really. More that, the game. more that something was happening before it was supposed to. Hold on a tick. I've almost sequence breaking? The sequence breaking is where you bypass parts of a game. All right. Ooh, sequence glitch. Yeah. <laughs> Guy was sticking his hands through his head there. Yeah, uh, quit that. You aren't scary. You just screwed up my concentration. Okay, now uh, zombie brush <laughs> has a... A mug of uh, uh, a mug of root beer. What are we going to use that not, for, though? It does crash. No. I guess that's so. What was going on? It was a sort of bug that reactivated too early. Yeah, I, 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 I get the feeling that line probably shouldn't have been available yet because yeah, the the mug wasn't there yet. Yeah, unless there's supposed to be a scene where he just pours on the floor. This yeah, might I, I be think the scene that was bugged. I, I think they actually don't have a scene like for that. So that is why the game was crashing, because it was trying to well, access a scene that didn't exist. That's at least what I'm thinking. That would probably explain it. And explain why you couldn't find it uh, when you were searching for it. Yeah. Though it actually should be found while you were searching for it. <laughs> Can't touch anything. Okay. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. Okay, here we go again. Actually, let's do the let's do let's check what lines we have now. I'm back. Hold your ground or I'll take you down myself. <laughs> Bring it on, Grand Rump. Yeah. Maybe we should try a different approach. I was actually expecting him to just pull out a gun or bonk bonk us on the head, not chuck the entire fucking register. Yeah, I, I expected like a hand cannon or a blunderbuss. <laughs> but what? <laughs> It, it, what do I just do? 
Stuff like that is also why I'm just really liking this game. Hold your ground. I surrender. You do. It's completely out of left field bullshit like that. <laughs> Wait, did, did he really just not notice the escape tunnel? Oh, uh, what the? Welcome back, sir. Okay, so we're not supposed to. Yes, sir. Hmm. Certainly. I would have liked it if they added in a bit here where they would skip through this, like they did on the in the last chapter when we'd get out, try to get out of the jail. Okay, skip around a bit on this. At least we can skip lines of dialogue. Um, oh, so those weren't barnacles. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually about to do this. Oh, disgusting. It tastes like earwax. Nope, that didn't do anything. Guess that wasn't the spirit gum. Might be me, Erwax. Uh, hmm. Dust, spit, and just a hint of lavender. Otherwise, it's completely tasteless. No, don't just the uh, guy brush. How you doing over there, neighbor? So I'm guessing we need the root beer. To... Let's see how spirit gum reacts to a little root beer. Ooh, that brings back unpleasant memories. Uh, okay, there was the case of just finding the correct one. Oh. Hey, now this is delicious and tingly. And hey, keep it down over there. Whoa. Now that is spirit gum. We just have to find the right kind. <laughs> Like a bit like the uh, the deal in that Indiana uh, Jones movie. I forget specifically which one, but uh, the one where they had to find the correct chalice. All right, corpsey body. Let's yeah. Get that cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down the Chuck once and for all. Hey, don't I'm you a bit disgusted at the moment. Come on, at least give me some gum. <laughs> Sorry, bug guy, but we are bugging out. I'm back, LeChuck. Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want. So get ready to be touched. To death. Sharp, pointy death. Finally. Ouch. How piece you that stings. <laughs> Still? Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously, who uses the word dolt anymore? With just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. I've told you a million times, LeChuck. I'm already Till married death, to- death do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. He does have a point there. Please dispose of this irritating corpse. With pleasure. Elaine, sweetie, stop! It's me! Oh, what? What? Oh, well, it's like... Good news, sir! I found the map! And the ship? <laughs> Oh, and bug eye as well. What? How dare you! I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. I think she's actually been completely taken over by the voodoo. Because I, th I thought she was trying to backstab. Uh, I think she was trying to backstab Lechuck the entire time, but. Yeah, apparently that plan has been has failed. <laughs> I'm more powerful now than I could have ever been as a lowly governor or a pitiful pirate. 
Stupid sponge. I liked you better when you were smaller. Hmm. I've got to shrink that sponge. <laughs> this is marvelous. You really think you still have a chance? Go ahead. Give it your best shot. I'll even give you a head start. Just know this. There is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you. <laughs> okay, so at least they're busy now over there. Listen up, hmm. Sponge. It's time you lost some weight. I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Hmm. Ooh, the lady. Or someone else who has to do with uh, voodoo. And from what I've read somewhere that Galeb is supposed to actually be a figure in voodoo mythology. Oh! But I didn't find much about him. Or I didn't really look too much, but mostly found a reference. Oh, hello again, Dry Rub. It's Guybrush. <laughs> That's what I said. Hmm. Where have you been? Oh, I don't know. Just wandering, I guess. I thought I heard my dog over here. I guess I was wrong. Oh. Wait, the, your dog? Yeah. I'm guessing he doesn't mean the Franklin the dog or something, because he didn't react to him earlier. Hmm. Why are there other smaller rips in the crossroads? Oh, those are for ambience. They create a nice mood light for those nice romantic nights. The rips in reality are for mood lighting? Mood lighting? Are you nuts? The Chuck must have discovered the monkeys of Montevideo and used them to conjure up the location of the crossroads in the physical world. That would have weakened the integrity of the fabric between the worlds. Wait, earlier... Oh. We, figured, we figured out earlier, or we thought we figured out earlier, that when he has his eyebrows raised that he's speaking the truth, and when he has them lowered that he's lying, but now it seems to be reversed. Hmm... Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three foot. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, <laughs> you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Okay, so it's basically just a reverse of the the last chapter's spell. Now, and one we can actually read this time. Oh, oh, oh no! Apparently, oh, Seagull no. isn't that dead yet, apparently. <laughs> Zombies, <sighs> Seagulls! No, 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 hey! You what? I give it a Drake gun. I gotta burn it with liquid fire. Okay, the judge is back here again, and he's not going to throw us out this time, but we need this blindfold. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Oh, ho, ho, that rock rib. Always good for a laugh. <laughs> So we just got completely pranked in the first episode. Okay, so that's one thing that we need. Hold on, Threefoot. The Chuck may still be out there somewhere, waiting to skewer us all. Until this crisis blows over, the only safe places on Flotsam Island are my club and my jails. Okay, so we need to piss him off to get back into jail. Because we need that gum. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. 
What? That's, they actually <laughs> moved so Bugai Ben. There is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Hmm. I guess I'll head back to the bar. There we go. Okay, what new? Uh, what the? Heck? How about a towel, sir? Thanks. Ah. My regular digs, only slightly worse for wear, considering. I don't think I even want to know. What the heck? Okay, that's two ingredients of the spell. We know where to get a feather. Um, but I don't know where to get anything of smell. Or the sixth cent is... Oh, well, we, actually, we know the, there's that secret box. It leaves then. Um, treasure hunt. Was it just me, or did it look like Guybrush didn't actually jump, but more than his model was just moved? <laughs> I didn't Ooh. notice. I didn't notice, actually. Oh, it is still alive. Whoa, Oop. Nelly. The spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, Guybrush. Huh. You can do that too? I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. What the heck okay. am I, anyway? I feel one step removed from a zombie. You are no stranger to the reanimation of corpses. You are now familiar with a form that Lechak has known so well. So, you're saying I'm a zombie? Defining such states is folly in the realm of voodoo. I'm a zombie. If you insist. Is there anything else I should know about being a zombie? Are you flush with zombie advice? Your true form is not lost. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. But such powerful reanimation is outside of the realm of voodoo. It requires something much more rare. Uh, <laughs> a uh, decent meal would <laughs> Straight talk from a voodoo priestess. <laughs> Straight talk from a voodoo priestess? Hmm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. <sighs> I'm sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a demon bride of LeChuck. Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, right. I agree with you, Treepwood. <laughs> Aside from joining my arch enemy, I generally appreciate the sass. Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. Okay, so is she in her right mind or not? What? I think she planned to backstab me, but due to she doesn't understand voodoo, it may have backfired. Yeah. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. Ever since LeChuck got a hold of your diary, he's really had it in for you. The Dread Pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this, Guybrush. <laughs> Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan Le Flay in cold blood? Lichuk is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. You're saying Lechuk is just being Lechuk? Yes. That does bring up how... where the hell did he... Now, how the hell did he get his hands on her diary? Did he just raid her shack? Good question. Uh, did Seagull really? <laughs> Semi-voodoo related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? 
Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. You mean my shred of life? Then that means LeChuck kept the shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say if the shred was his own? Okay, so we could have stolen one. I'm having a hard time getting over this dead seagull thing. You must realize that oftentimes in life, it is not where the message comes from, but the message itself. But it's gross. <laughs> Why should I believe any of this? Fine, you don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa, you don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait! I believe you! Ah, oh, man! Now pluck a feather! A tiny touch! Gross. Okay, is there uh, anywhere... Actually, we have our hook now, so we can just open this up. Don't tell me this is going to have that stup those stupid cards again. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah, stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I, I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. As he does have a point on him being careless because he has left, uh, <laughs> he has left Kybrus, uh, yeah, unattended, let's say, so he could actually get away and such. Like in, in Monkey Island 2, he did hang him above, he did hang him above a, well, a death trap, but he didn't stick around to see if it would work or not. Okay, let's see. What was the spell again? Diet of the senses. Okay, sight. We don't have sound. We have a touch. We need. We have taste. We need smell, sense, and oh, we know what the sixth sense is. So we need touch and smell somewhere. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the secret. Welcome back, friend. Also, one thing I found out on the on this is that they actually changed the voice actors for these characters from their first appearance. Oh, reason? So it turns out that I actually need a secret to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Can I take it? No, you can't even steal it. It has to be shared with you. Okay, share it with me. I don't know, friend. You don't seem like the kind of person I can trust with a secret like this. Sure I am. I still haven't told anyone that Elaine waxes her upper lip. Oh, ah, shoot. But you're a thief, friend. Everyone knows you can't trust a thief. Hmm. Um, calling the kettle black? <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh, I'm guessing... <laughs> uh, the pot calling the kettle black, I believe it yeah. is the line is. Thank you. Thank you. I was just asking how was it, how it went again. Okay, I, I was... <laughs> that was a bit of a swift motion. Uh, yeah, the, the reason... What was it again? Uh, yeah, the, the voice actors. The, probably they only hired, like, they had to change in the... Well, they... Or had to or, cha or chose to change the voice actors. Probably because they just were originally hired for well a few lines or so this may or maybe just did, yeah, or maybe just, just couldn't find the originals and um, let's see can we give this to you perhaps or do we need to actually Take steal it this nice find friend did you steal that yourself i did i snatched it right off lechuck's belt hmm i trust that you did yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? 
I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. Okay, are we playing some sort of charades now or something? Or is he just being a sarcastic arse towards you? Probably. Excuse me. What is it, friend? I need stuff to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Have you seen any of these ingredients? Hmm. Well, I do have this old secret lying around here somewhere. What kind of secret? Shh. The secret what? of Monkey Island? It's a secret. <laughs> uh. Talk to you later. Till next time, friend. Oh, I gotta me do mental note of this. There's something... Ooh, what? No, well, I Secrets don't see aren't... anything over here. Okay. Hmm. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Let's look for the others. I don't want to look up a hint just yet on this now. Um, let's see. Okay. Please, then, that's... That... that... That joke there, it felt like one or two stick I could probably fool you with. <laughs> you probably don't have anything new to add. How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! I'm working on another voodoo spell. Have you seen any of these items around? Oh, do you need some kind of whisper, huh? You know, every now and again, I swear I hear a tiny voice around here saying, It's free! Dry brush scrap wood! My trees, try it! <laughs> <laughs> mm, I thought it might have been old Stan implanting subliminal messages in me to buy some out of season <laughs> shrubberies. Yeah, okay, the whisper is going. The whisper, yeah, the whisper is the birds. <laughs> <sighs> the the writing overall is still very good with this. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm gonna get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. Yeah, it's also in the line there, whispery parrots. Now, how the hell are we actually going to capture these? Because we've tried it again a few times now. Or, oh, I see how. Let's get them off. I didn't actually notice that we put this in our inventory. Oh, well, actually, we collected it earlier. Then. Come to use this object since middle school. <laughs> okay, we don't have to do that then. Do we have to get of the other gum or something? Let's dig up another bench. And maybe this time it'll allow us to capture them in a okay. in the jar. Or do we really need to get some something to glue them in place? I can't get within three feet of those parrots. If only I had four foot arms. Yeah, they just bugger Shit. off. Hmm. Four foot arms? Is that a hint or just a joke? Hmm. It does sound like we need something to, uh, yeah, like a stick or something. Or maybe the banana picker from the first game. <laughs> if, if we find Roth, uh, you know, what was Herman Rothtooth? I believe the name was. If we find him here, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Let's actually see what's different now that uh, Winslow isn't here. The heck is Herman Rothtruth again? Uh, the, the hermit from the, the Monkey Island. Oh, right. Elaine's father. Yeah. I like, got surprised he's not here. Oops. Nope. <laughs> The guy just popped up yeah. below there for a bit. Oh, smell. Root, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. Uh, you should both then use the odorant. Yep, and the locket's gone. Winslow's game props. I guess he gave up on it. Can we go back down? Actually, yeah. There's still some stuff down here. Like... That fishnet! That's what we're going to need to use. Also, that like, makes sense. That does make a lot of sense. I want to pick up the Kava's helmet. 
down we go. And let's grab the fishnets, then we'll try to get the helmets. A fishnet woven of the finest meshes. And can we screw with the clam again? Uh, the model on that bubble is a bit messed up since you can see cross lines on it. Hello? I'm trying to put together a voodoo spell to. You get away from me with that voodoo stuff! But if Lachuk can sense it and it leads him right here! I don't think it works that way. Well, I'm playing it safe anyway. What did Winslow's note say? It was a lovely haiku. That man can say so much with such few words. I've always found him a bit long-winded. Only in his ability to hold his breath. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's not question any further. I just thought you'd like to know that Van Winslow is leading an attack on LeChuck as we speak. Oh, so valiant. I await his triumphant return. <laughs> I'd forgotten him. I forgot he actually has a middle bit in his name there. <laughs> the doggy paddle again. I, I'm still. Oh, bloody, that looks ridiculous. But I was a little surprised that, that they had romance. In one piece. I wonder if Takaba was so lucky. Unless. Oh, we can't collect it. It might be a title we yeah. missed, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. And also, he was the one hinting to us, if I remember right, that, that uh, they are. Uh, the merfolks are rather hard to tell the difference between. True. Whoa. He probably can and... But is it just... Okay, yeah, <laughs> there is still some uh, gunk all over Guybrush from everything he's going through now. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to be keeping a secret that you'd like to share with me, would you? A secret? Yes, I think I have a secret. But you cannot tell anyone. What is it? Well, just between you and me, I think I may be just a little bit off in the head. True, but that's hardly a secret. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Galeb. Sure, anything's possible. I'll have to look up more on Galeb. Hmm. He has a little bit of a, a trickster shepherd look to him with everything. Okay, it thieves then. How Welcome are we back, going to friend? Now how are we going to get this? Hmm. Nice secret you've got there. Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Eh? Okay. What? <laughs> that was surprisingly easy now. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Wait. It was the stupid... The Chuck's belt buckle, probably, huh? That pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good. <laughs> okay, we could, we'll consider that a trade then. Wait, uh, that's how we've been tricking Elaine all. Yeah, we 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 should have we should have examined it. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that that's how we was able to trick Elaine. Okay, I get. All right, now we use the fishnets on these little buggers. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrot. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Drinkwood, Mighty Pirate. Oh, the like misspelled treasure? <laughs> and I think we have it all then. Okay. So off to the sponge. The sponge is hey, stuck on. Come on back, little guys. Ah, well, there are probably plenty more. 
Okay, we need to stick you them should... in the jar. Yeah. And also, I just had an idea. Hmm? How about we make a... Uh, okay. High rag golden or copper statue of your favorite bird from this game. <laughs> now, I have been looking at... Uh, okay, a bit too close. I'm going to be looking into uh, that VTuber Plus program, how to add custom uh, objects to it, because you can use that to throw stuff at people. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll be adding, or I'll try to add, a copy of the Pyrite Parrot. Oh dear. And yeah, maybe maybe we if, <laughs> maybe we can look at getting a 3D printed no, one as well. Okay, now we put them in the jar. That hasn't been used in quite a bit. Sorry, guys. I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. <laughs> That's actually the first time that something has escaped from Guy Versus pockets as well, I think. True! And they've been able to hold dogs! <laughs> not, not even small ones at that. Okay. So we're starting this thing off again with a blindfold. How how the hell were we going to fit this thing around it? Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. Yep. Nope. Okay, it just gets absorbed into it. Uh, what is the sequence? Diet of the senses. Sound, touch. Like a sponge, your the smallest mouth. Elect your sixth. Fight the. There's no need to read it out again, guy brush. Okay, so birds, feather, <clears throat> secrets, bird feather, secret smell. Nope. Wrong button. Probably good to save just in case. Yeah. We go. Yeah, just in case one of the files is going to crash again. Uh, another attempt to claim the Cutlass of Kaflu failed. Instead, Elaine tried to use it against him. Uh, Guybrush decided that the big sponge was keeping her under Lechuk's power, and it had to be shrunk. Okay, so she is being controlled. Yeah, I guess he was unaware of it. On so word. she probably planned to backstab him. So yes. Yeah. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. Okay. Do, do we actually need to use these in order? A light touch for an appetizer. Stay true and thrive. I don't think so, actually. A feather plucked from a bird half alive. Well, it was dead, so... <laughs> Hopefully this is going to screw up the spell just like at the very Keep start of the game. Need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. There you go, Sponge. Chew on this for a while. And yeah, only the secret remains. Your sixth sense what is the secret, though? It's not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One Sponge shrinking secret coming up. There's probably actually nothing in the box. <laughs> uh oh, I hope that's not indigestion. We might actually be able to finish this today, after all. And there goes the bloody sponge. And yeah. What? Ah, don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride come hell or high water. Guybrush, help! The voodoo lady, she brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Hit up with the old backward sea slug. <laughs> oh, that is all up fierce. Ah, enough of this. Uh, right then, Celian. <laughs> oh, he actually froze them all. It's been going on far too long. Elaine is mine. 
my demon bride to make me a kingly breakfast each morning to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture to patch up all my worn out tattered socks and <laughs> this shuts you to hell up <laughs> you're right sweetie he doesn't give you much to work with does he uh-oh <clears throat> excuse us a moment guybrush the wifey and i need to have a little private talk <laughs> he just chokes him right the fuck back out. A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see? You can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! <laughs> that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh, uh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? <sighs> Someone's been busy. And out he goes again. I'll be back for you, lass. That was a bit of an odd moment there. That sword is huge. Think of all the times you tried to destroy me. Uh, to be fair, ooh. Ow. all that pain, all that suffering. Now, just imagine what I'm going to do to you, furry pod. Guy brush. I think we're we're going to be in the a case here where we there's going to get knocked around through everything again, huh? A sail filled with the ill winds of... Oh, oh, forget it. All this getting punched in the face is leaving me feeling unmetaphoric. Okay, anything else here? Nope. But Chuck, oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. You've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh! Yeah, we're just going. Why does one of. <laughs> it's one of them wearing an inflatable. Uh, A bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Uh, they're locked up that's, going, that's going to be root beer, isn't it? We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled cars. Yeah, we don't tell them we're going to need to cover that blade in grog again. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why is the potter ship made of stone? Isn't that right? Oh, or a fireman. Or an astronaut. Ah, you know. You're not a real pirate until you've had the plunder and pleasure of being keel-hauled on this ship. Many a crewman has seen the underside of this ship, but none were as sniveling and sorry as you. Uh, and yeah, this is what keel hauling is. Normally it'd be a bit uh, more of a rough ride though. He hello. Because there'd be barnacles all over the place to basically cut you to ribbons. <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Yeah, we're we're going to be knocked around all over the place again, and we can't even move. We can only just look around at things. Three B. Three B. We can stop the Chuck, but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds. I'll try to lure him across. You stab him with the cutlass. I'll fight tooth and nail for you, Guybrush. Okay, Wonder Bunny! Pick a <laughs> What's with these things? Light the cannon. I'll light the cannon! Yes, dear! 
Okay, what's that going to do? We, we need to. We probably need to stick something in there. Watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of you barnacle brains? Ah! And there we go. Reset to the first start. <laughs> okay, what do we need to do up here? Nope. Oh. Now that didn't do anything. It's weird to see a ship made of wood and stone. Only time we see that happen is in Ark. Nope. And I'm too late. I, I just noticed that there's some we can mess with that rope. Are you doing this? I'm tired of putting up with you. And I just love the sound you make when you hit the deck. What if he's just dancing back and forth there? Hey, Dye brush? Uh let's not mention that one. Uh, Attack the truck. I'm on it, sweetie. Okay, we need those keys, but we need to get that from the rope. Yeah. Uh, how do we get them though? Because it was in an uh, animation. Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Uh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Okay. Yeah, we. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! Oh, that's. <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try! Ugh. There we go. That gives if that gives Guybrush enough time to snag the keys. Or at least I hope so. Come on, get him. Get him, Guy Ross. There we go. Now we can open up that. Uh, now we can open up the Brock case. Not done with you. Uh, but what then with that? Do we need to stick that in the cannon or something? Hmm. Yeah, we need to we need to get something into the cannon, I think. Uh, Chuck's always had sort of a gaudy, overcompensating sense of decor. Hmm. I do gotta wonder though, was his human appearance just an illusion or something? It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sword. Oh, he knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of these barnacle brains? Ah! Hmm. Or I, actually, I think his human form was real. He was just planning all of this from the start, sort of. It's down to the wheelhouse. Okay. A sail. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can do much else at the moment except for wait, for, get to that, uh, get to the grog. Shove that into the cannon, I guess, and then we'll see what we need to do. Okay, at least he's getting on with it instead of just blabbering the entire time. Okay, keys. Open that. Quit making a mess. I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. <laughs> Shots fired. Evil. Elaine is doing a better job with that skeleton army than I'm doing with the Chuck. There's no need for him to. Yeah, there's no need to distract the uh, Chuck again during this. What are we going to do with it? Yeah, I I think we have to shove it or get it into the cannon somehow. Hmm. A little bit different this time. Look at this mess. This is why you don't leave unrestrained barrels on the deck. Elaine, guy brush. A little more 
cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love. Okay. Why? See. Do we need to puncture it or something? Uh, my hook's got better uses than that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see what we need to do with the barrel at the moment, then. Oh, if we could interact with the broken door. And I hear I wonder, are we really close to the end or not? I think we are. We, the moment that we get, uh, the moment that we get uh, LeChuck to cross over, I'm guessing Morgan and Elaine will strike at the same time to finally, hopefully, kill him off for freaking good. And yeah, I don't think there, there would be much more after that. Oh, oh, okay, now we skipped over that. Because the other scene is useless now. I used the door with the bear to make... Okay. Ah, a seesaw. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> Okay, but what do we need the, the seesaw for? Hmm. It's down to the wheelhouse. And then go down to this. Wait, wait, hook on the hook on rope. Hook on oh, rope. Yeah. Good, good thinking, actually. Yeah, there we go. Try to fly away, little peep wood. Peep wood, really? Uh, Stealing hook the main my sail. captain's yokes. Uh, my hook's got. No. What do we do to screw with the mainsail then? Get another sail filled with the ill winds of change. <laughs> uh, it's a giant demonic cannon of doom. That would be just big enough for me to. Okay, so that's how we're going to lure. You know what's so great about this? Ah, we're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my ship. Elaine. And no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swab the deck. Okay, we... We get Elaine to light the cannon, then we jump in and lure the yeah, lure LeChuck uh, Elaine. into the uh, into the rip again. Like the cannon. I'm on it. Uh, but how is she going to get up there with the cutlass then? Uh. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Impressive display. They ought to call you Guybrush Threepwood, mighty ballerina. Uh, hmm. Not feeling so mighty now, are you? Oh, LeChuck, come on. Stop. Elaine? Elaine? I'll be turning your charred skull into a fine jewelry box for my bride. Grim. Yeah, he has fucking good aim, though, to just get Guybrush in there every single time. I've always wanted to try this. I'm Guybrush Freakwood, Mighty Pi- Ooh! <laughs> oh. Aha! Who do you think you are? Blackbeard himself? Yep, yep, and back up. <laughs> okay, now we need to light the cannon, get on the seesaw, and that should... Hopefully, be the end of this. Because as the, as fun uh, as it is seeing Guybrush get knocked around and the chatter from the, this would go on for a bit too long. <laughs> okay, Elaine, Cannon. You got it, love. Seesaw. Uh, seesaw. Shut up and get on it, guy brush. Too late. It's so cute watching my barba get cursed cut. Ah! Hmm. Uh, 
Not police. Oh, wait. Mm. We can get a... Oh, I think he's... The truck won't jump on the uh, on the correct side of it unless it's from here. I can get back into the crossroads. At least the truck won't have as much sea hardened ship to smash me into. Okay, so we just gotta wait for him to jump up here. Then we can uh, then we can light the cannon and use the seesaw. Wait for you to give up and just go away. Say what you will about uh, Guybrush, he is freaking persistent. So, I, I, I wonder how much of the pain that he's feeling is actually... Shut up and get... There we go. How much of the pain of that he's feeling is actual and how much of it is... <laughs> Reference to Monkey 1. Is uh, in more in his mind. The Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. We need to trap him, Guybrush! No! Oh, you two can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! <laughs> there is one way that we can... I think I need this more than ever. I can't reach it. it. It would close if we would low if we would uh, give up the shred of life. Uh, Morgan. Uh, yeah, what do we do here now? The only thing I can think of would be to give up the shred of life, which it is. Kybrush, what are you doing? It's. Only way. What? You. Oh. Is it over? Hello. Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Uh, the center of the crossroads. Guess I'm stuck here for good now. There's no boats. Okay. Where's LeChuck? Where's Morgan? We can't move her. Hmm. Are we supposed to be doing something now? Or... Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring oh, hello. at the of the crossroads. Ah, clever. We can do the spell again. Elaine is so going to kill us wow, for this. What, what, what the... a rush. That hey, was my hand is back. easy. Oh. Guybrush! Oh, it's about time. It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me... You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. I'll have to look back on some things, because I'm pretty sure there was more stuff to that spell. Uh... <laughs> what? Ah, uh, let's just hold it, keep it simple. That's my plunder bunny. Well, the imp 
important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. <laughs> really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're gonna get it. I think he does work enough of that on his own. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit unexpected. I, I honestly thought they were going to end it with with Guybrush stuck in the in the afterlife. Yeah. And, and now we've hit two ten p.m. So perfect timing on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Look, I remember overtime not spot on. Actually, well, we're going a little bit over, but still. <laughs> still the, how often have we been able to do it spot on? Not really. <laughs> I think this might be the first time, actually. <laughs> this is perfect timing. Yeah. Uh. I thought we either finished a few minutes after or maybe a few minutes before, but not spot on. Uh. Oh, dear. Still going to need to look. How, how the hell did. Like, how did the hell did Elaine even know of a spell to get back from the after? Let's not poke at plot holes. <laughs> but I'll be yeah, looking a bit more into this later. But uh, this was a this was a good end. Uh, uh, this would have been a good uh, place to end off the series, probably. With Lechuk finally freaking gone for good, with both his body and spirit destroyed. I think that was the idea. They wanted to do a final uh, no, uh, send off. Which maybe why some people dislike it. Yeah, there's always this. This game it might not be. From what I've heard, people don't consider this game as good as Monkey Island One and Two, um, maybe even Three. But they do. It is. It is just leagues better than Escape from Monkey Island because it's even with the crashes, it's still a lot more bloody functional than that. Yeah. I'll still need to look up what the hell. Uh, what I'll still need to look up a let's play of that uh, game to see what the hell just actually happens in it. Uh, because I don't remember any time that guy was was a not guy was that <laughs> Lechuk was a bloody manatee. Wait, what? Yeah, they, they said something about that that you know, somewhere about all the times that guy was killed uh, ha or ended up killing Lechuk, and one of them was like. a uh, that he was a manatee at one point or something. <laughs> Franklin as himself. The dog. What? Uh. Well, Still since we finished this, I may bother to actually watch the, uh, someone play the playthrough of it now. Yeah. The ideas for it were probably still good, but they I probably, I think I said this multiple times during that game as well, but they really should have just done a Tonic Trouble where they made a different game before working on something with actual brand recognition just to get the practice in on 3D stuff since, well, they probably never had any experience with 3D you know, games before then. So just jumping from no experience at all to trying it on something as big as Monkey Island, yeah, that's just, that's just jumping in. That's just jumping into a minefield. Yeah, well, proper f play testing and fixing. Like, yeah. one of the reasons we didn't continue the other game was, well, Glitch. having to repeatedly yeah. try for two hours to hopefully avoid a bug. Yes, uh. no. Uh, at least we enjoyed what blaming. we had out of that the game. Uh, uh, sorry, the what the heck is that? You and me? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Wait. Oop. One final time with the voodoo lady. Wait. So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Wait, what? 
now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter Morgan Lafley. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs> Wait, what? Was that supposed to happen before or after? Okay, so they had plans of possibly doing more. Okay. Or... Now I'm unsure. Let me... Let me take a... Let me do take a quick bloody look at what might should have happened at the end of Escape from Monkey Island. Because I don't remember us sticking LeChuck into a bloody bottle like that. Uh, Escape from Monkey Island. Ending. Uh, I'm going to mute this. And let's see, just skip through a bit. Puny Mind, blah, 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 blah. Big Monkey. Okay, that's after it. Okay. Let's see, is this part? This is where he turned into a giant statue to take control. Um, hmm. No, okay. You're taking control. What? Yeah. I, I'm not trying to figure out if that happened before or after this, uh, the entire series. Hmm. It was that said go, ghost pirate hunter. Hmm. Might have been after this wound mess. I, I couldn't tell if Morgan was see-through there or not. Uh, she looked a bit see-through. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll look up... Um, I'm, go I'm just going to look up TV tropes now to get a bit better question if, if that's supposed to take place before or after uh, yeah, for, TV tropes. Actually, the whole place looked different. Like, she was in the middle of the jungle, not in a hut or anything like that. Uh, it it could have been that she... W if that was after the game... Then that probably would have meant that uh, the voodoo lady was hiding in the crossroads, actually. Uh... They will explain still some things, but also may explain... Wait. What if she is not what she appears to be? Could be. Uh... Could she be a... Well, she never said her name. Maybe... Could she be some sort of voodoo goddess? Or... Very possible. Uh, let me see. Where were they? Uh, not that. That's franchise. I'm just going to do a quick search on Stinger because that typically uh, leads to stuff like that. Uh, wait, wait, you, wait, you want me to use a Stinger oral? All right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to find a giant wolf Stinger. Ah, here we and go. Stinger leg. Uh, two other mice that don't get resolution are a weird machine in the Voodoo Lady Shack in episode one. The tub, the poxed hand. Though the commentaries explain a bit more about that. They had to skitter off into the wood because they didn't want it to show you know, it becoming a non-living severed hand when less plunging. Okay. Oh, so the hand just plain died <laughs> off screen. Uh, oh. And... Point out that eagle-eyed players will see it in the late voodoo lady's possession during the final stinger. Hmm. Wait. But Guybrush got his hand back. Hmm. Let me find some. Is this going to get any? Going to have the ending? Da -da -da. Hmm. Uh, no. Hmm, I'm going to need, I'm probably going to need to do more in, yeah, looking around for what the hell that was all about, but if the, wait, 
the hand were the hand was severed in that bit so that was that was after the everything okay hmm so that would have was that hinting that the voodoo lady would have been the villain of a, a sixth monkey island game if there had been a, a sequel to this that Maybe? is interesting hmm it's and possible well, that would mean that uh, once again, freaking LeChuck didn't actually die this time because he just, <laughs> just got turned into his voodoo milkshake. Ugh. Uh, still, though, that's... Yeah, that marks the end of uh, the Monkey Island series as we have it at the moment. Yeah, it is until the next one comes. Yeah, which will act. Yeah, I, I was okay. I was, I was wanting to click exit there, but I instead I clicked resume game. Oh, for uh, Yeah, not too much trouble this time actually, and uh, yeah, we're done with Monkey Island as of now until return. Uh, well, returns the series to activity. Uh, which means that we'll we'll have to find something else to play on the Saturdays normally, or you know, we'll just have to look at things as is. We, I'm thinking at the moment our original plan was to return to doing something Sunday sh you know, streams where we we try out games, and I think yeah. hmm. Should we continue from where we left off, or should we start from A once again? Because I have, uh, once again, gotten more games since we well, uh, had to stop. Well, here's the thing. Is something suddenly really viable with your work? Mm. It, it'd be harder for you to have time to play test them, to make sure they work and all that. And, and that doesn't actually... To that install actually... them. That doesn't actually take that much time, typically. It's just seeing if they will work with OBS or not. Yeah, but still, you, we both know you don't... that the, your work hours are rather random. Yeah, but we can also just move things around. That's... Hmm. Well, it no longer be something Sunday in, in the war with that uh, logic. True. So I, I guess we'll just have to think on that, then. Yeah, like... I'll be all for something Sunday if we can keep st streaming on Sunday regularly for just moving something Sunday around. It, it kind of defeats the whole Sunday part. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to find another alliterative title for it, like a try out something or something, try out tests or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Dear. Yeah, or or we just uh, maybe not entirely drop it, but that we lower the amount of streams we do or at, attempt uh, per week to three from four, because that yeah. that would probably also fit better with yeah a, a, a chaotic work schedule. Yeah, like I, I still like we still stream in Minecraft and two other main games, like the yeah. weekend uh, and week. Week a weekend. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait where would Minecraft London? Yeah, we can do that as a weekend thing, or as the third thing we're doing. We'll we'll probably swap out that at some point again. Uh, likely when we uh, when Return to Monkey Island releases. But yeah, we'll just have. Two uh, streams per week on the main uh, on the main game that we're doing, and then we have a third free play game, a uh, free play stream. Then I'd say that we just do whatever we want. Either we try out games, or we play some uh, something else, like uh, Minecraft or Monkey Island when that returns. All right. Or we could try something else. Or we could. We've done shorter games. Uh, uh, let, let's just leave it at that. Two streams for the main game that we're doing, and a third whatever we want to do then. Yeah, for... Again, I like the idea of, uh, of us at least doing four streams a week. 
I like the idea, but I understand we need to shrink it due to the calculus work schedule. And I can't speak up here at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just see. We'll we'll try for three. Maybe if we can fit in a fourth, we'll do that. But we're just going to lower it to three at the time. But for now, let's have a look at some people we could raid, perhaps. And there's the the ballista? No. <laughs> Let's not rate him that way, but okay, there's nobody I'm nobody I'm familiar with or that I know somewhat personally is online at the moment. So let's see. What was that? Hmm? What was that sound? Uh, what, what sound? You'll have to be Sophie, more specific then. Sophie hung it on your end. I'm not seeing anything that... Hmm. You're hung to beeped. I'll have to look at the recording for that, but I guess I didn't hear anything. We're now we're done. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Not so many small streamers are active at the moment. There is someone called Old Dragon who is playing Super Robot Wars. I th or Super Robot Wars 30? What? Oh, uh, you can't you say old. I've heard of that. There's someone called Mage Knight 404 who's playing a game called Dark Deity. And then there's someone playing Metal Gear Rising. Uh, Revengeance, that is. And oh, someone dear. who is playing... Oh, someone who's playing The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. They are called Ciel Valkyrie. And we've recently decided to add that game to the to-do list along with Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, because, yeah, recently I really want to play <laughs> Spirit Tracks again. <laughs> oh dear, we do. And yeah, it would only make sense to add in the games that actually, well, lead up, are the first and second in that little trilogy, unofficially. So, yeah, who would you say we would, should raid? There is also Shrimp OS, streaming Team Fortress 2, but I'm leaning towards uh, The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, me too. Me too, actually. Okay. For Princess Copying Zelda. Them. Copying their name, heading to the channel, and there, slash raid them. Okay, then. Um, yeah, I will have to see when I can stream next uh, week. No, not next week, it's Monday. Uh, yeah, I should be able to, I would be able to stream tomorrow. Um, in the two days after that, but we've already streamed three days in a row. So tomorrow we'll be taking a rest day for certain. We'll probably stream Zara on Wednesday and Thursday then. Possibly early. And yeah, then we'll just have to see when we can put in Minecraft or whatever else we're picking up. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Um... Also, Corafell server might be back up again. I think I've said that before, but I don't know if that was on stream or not. Still all the same. I'm starting the raid. And then, um, yeah. Thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah. Until next time, for more Sanzara, uh, have a nice day. And until then... Be safe, folks, and watch out for half-leaving seagulls. <laughs>